So the last concept I want to cover um, in this series of videos is surface boundaries um, or the use of surface boundaries. So basically a surface boundary is an entity that will constrain a boundary that it won't form beyond that, um, that line. It can be a CAD poly line that comes from a design file. It can be something that we draw on TBC. It could be a line string. Um, and essentially all we need to do is select that closed boundary so I've got a polyline line here and I can just go to surface boundaries and if I choose to add it to the surface OGL then you can see that this boundary which is below the surface here is constraining the boundary above it so it doesn't necessarily have to have a height if we remove it so if we just select that boundary and remove it then we can see that the surface goes back to the way it was formed originally um, if we select a second line, then we can basically add the two of them. And you can see it basically just two boundaries will form basically two distinct areas within um, a surface. So it's still one surface, but it's only basically it's got this concept of violence. It's uh, you can also call it uh, cookie, cookie cutting. Where we have um, boundaries within boundaries, then we basically get a donut effect. So if I just select these two and add them to the surface, then you can see that basically the outer boundary um, constrains the boundary going out the way, the inner boundary constrains the boundary going um, in the way. So we basically get this island effect. So this is fairly normal when we're forming um, DTMs around built up areas. We generally don't want to form the DTM underneath uh, buildings. If I wanted to choose to add all of these boundaries that we have here, then you can see that essentially we get all the cookie cutting effect, but we've got this whole cut out of this, so it's almost like a donut. So that's just the concept of surface boundaries within TBC.